Hey everyone. What's up? Hi, Chris. Hi. Chris. Um, uh, so I, I love the series. I really, uh, it was so fantastic. Um, Jim, uh, my first question is for you. Uh, I wanted to ask about the drag scene. Um, <laughs> I, heard, I heard that you choreographed that yourself and Meryl Streep was a fan. Can you tell, can you tell me more about that? Nice. This I did not know. If Meryl saw my performance, this is news to me, but this is, I can die now. Well, I shouldn't say that while I'm in quarantine. It's not a good time to say that, but you get what I mean. Um, yeah, well, I guess I choreographed it myself. Nobody, I mean, I had, they gave me notes on the set, but I was just alone in this little rental apartment I had, and I was watching these Isadora Duncan videos and reading about her, and I just started moving, and before I knew it, I had a little something thrown together that I could do on camera, like a jackass, but I did it. <laughs> um, it was awesome. It was very whimsical on, on the day. So, yeah. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Um, but, uh, and Jim, I heard, like, it seemed like you loved uh, playing the, a villain, but yeah. did you say yes instantly? I heard that maybe you had some hesitation. Oh no, I had no hesitation. I played coy. Uh, Ryan came and asked me if I wanted to do a role like I'd never done before in the next show he was doing. He's like, I'll let you read the first couple of episodes before you decide. And I went home and I told my husband, I said, I told him I'd read them, but I, I could have just said yes. I mean, what would I have to read to go, no, I'm not doing that. I love working with Ryan. I love the people that Ryan works with. And so I kind of knew I was going to do it. I am not always that easy, but as far as Ryan goes, I, I was. Um, Jake, what was, uh, how did you prepare to play Rock Hudson? Anything that I could get my hands on, you know, or eyes and ears on, you know, read everything and uh, watched all of his old films, watched them on silent, listened to his interviews in the car, studied the body language and just kind of his personal relationships and his family and uh, really just wanted to capture the essence of who he was entering this time period uh, of, uh, you know, growing to become a star and uh, being influenced with people like uh, Henry Wilson. Um, and like, what did you, uh, this revisionist history of Rock Hudson um, giving him a happy ending, what do you think that'll do for LGBTQ viewers? Like I love seeing it. It's, yeah, it's, 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 I think it's triumphant. It's incredible. It's, um, I think, you know, the battle for equal representation for uh, opportunities for people of color and women and members of the LGBTQ community is still being waged today. So I think it's uh, very essential um, and important. And it's going to be a great watch in this quarantine, you know, some uh, hopeful show. Uh, after your Rock Hudson research, do you uh, have a favorite movie of his? You guys are frozen. No, Jake, you were frozen, but now you're not. Now we're back. <laughs> uh, Jake, do you, after your research, do you have a favorite Rock Hudson movie? He's frozen again. Thank you, Jeremy. Can you can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? How you doing? <laughs> um, this was was this your first TV project? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how did you get involved? Um, audition. No, it was, uh, uh, I was a week of Tony's for Broadway. It was, you know, the big shebang. So we we're gearing up for that. I was, and this audition came in for a Ryan Murphy project untitled. There wasn't much to it. It was just a love letter to Hollywood. Archie, um, it said attractive screenwriter. So I was like, all right, well, I guess we'll give it a go. So I went on tape for it. And the next day they offered it to me. Um, and I was able to meet Ryan and didn't get a, uh, an understanding of the show he was trying to tell, the story he was trying to, you know, what he wanted to do, who was all involved at the time. I think at the time it was me, Darren, and David Cornsweet. Um, and then he was just, you know, excited to bring me on for it if I was down and willing. Very similar to Jim, he asked, like, I'll send you the first two scripts and you can tell me, you know, what you think. But by then, you know, I was already picking out my opening night um, outfit for the premiere. <laughs> <laughs> uh and Jeremy, how did playing Archie uh, personally affect you? Um, personally, I think it's just, at least from my experience, just wondering, um, I question, I often question if there's room and space for me um, in the business, whether that be in theater um, or in TV film. Um, you know, you aspire and you dream for those things, but you hope for an opportunity. 
you know, when the talent and opportunity can meet. Um, so again, I'm grateful for Ryan for giving me that. But again, here we are, Archie, this ambitious, um, you know, hungry, this dreamer, this doer who's going to fight, um, push the needle forward so that maybe he can open opportunities for people that look like him um, that come from the same narrative as he, as he does. Uh, Jake, I was trying to ask you earlier, after your Rock Hudson research, do you have a favorite Rock Hudson movie or something that you would recommend to people wanting to watch his work? Sorry. Yeah, I think I cut out there. Uh, um, All That Heaven Allows was really good. And uh, Pillow Talk, Magnificent Obsession. Um, yeah, those are, those are some of my favorites. Uh, the reason why I said um, All That Heaven Allows is because it deals with like being socially kind of ostracized. So it felt you know, a little relevant. And Jim, did you, like, what did you wear when you were playing Henry? Like, did you put... Um, I had on, like, I had on this, they put on a bald thing, and then they put on a wig for thinning hair, and then I put in brown contacts and some fake upper teeth. (laughs) (laughs) And, um... So my last question, uh, Jeremy, why do you think why do you think this series is uh, the perfect series for right now? I mean, specifically right now, we are quarantined. Yeah. We are indoors. I think for me, yeah. you know, watching a lot of TV and reading as much as I can. But when I watch TV, uh, the series I've been watching, I've been a little bit dark. And I love that. But I think what Hollywood offers is something that's hopeful and inspiring, um, you know, and from peers and people that have seen it. They're like they're excited to get back to work, to to especially people that work in the entertainment business to just, you know, to know the impact that they can have um, with, you know, whether it is developing new things or giving, you know, new people, new voices, new opportunities. Um, so, I, again, I think it's going to be very hopeful and very inspiring. Um, and I hope people enjoy it. Well, thank you for your time. Like I said, I love the series. You're all fantastic. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Chris.